Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last session, we teamed up with the Pale Man, whose name has not stuck in my head yet, but we teamed up with him to take down a shadow. Uh, we got ourselves checked up at the doctor's and we unlocked a new social link with Tanaka, the Devil Arcana, as he has been screwing us out of a lot of money. But uh, he is unlocked now, so hopefully we won't have to pay him anymore. I think we're about to start the day with a very, very special moment, which is taking Doggo for a walk. So let's chat with everyone first. By the way, Mitsuru-san took Aigis-san to the summer festival. I didn't hear anything on the news about it, so no one must have noticed that she's a robot. She must have been in stealth mode. Yeah, man, that was it. Stealth mode. Hey, hey, I was thinking, what do you think will happen to us if the dark hour disappears? We'll go back to normal. Hmm, yeah, that's what I think too. Those Striga guys said our pers persona abilities will disappear, so we'll probably just go back to being ordinary high school students. Um... Hi! We should follow Yukari-chan's advice and try to finish our summer homework soon. Jinbei can said he's gonna do all his at once later. How are you gonna tackle yours, itadori A uh, little by little. Why, certainly. I think that's the best strategy to do homework too. That's what I've been doing, so I've gotten most of it out of the way already. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, um... There was nothing to do in town, we already checked that. And... Who's available up here? Junpei. Well, yeah, we could... No. No, we're doing doggo walking. We are doing doggo walking. It has been decreed and so it shall be so. The TV remote is at Korimaru's feet. Oh, he doesn't want to go on a walk. He wants to be fucking... He wants to watch TV. Oh. It could help with my academics? Sure. Woof. It's a documentary about a wolf pack. I guess this is what Koromaru wanted to see. Koromaru seems to be mimicking the pack leader. Woof woof. So true. Koromaru seems to really like this program. Watching how animals live in the wild helped me improve my academics. Sure. Of course it did. This program apparently has more episodes in the series. Maybe I'll watch it with Koromaru again whenever I have the time. Okay, it wasn't walk time. I was bamboozled. Tuesday the 18th. Okay, what are we doing today? What have we got? We got you. Oh, look at the good boy. Look at the very good boy. Your summer break next year will likely be inundated with studying for entrance exams, so make use of this free time while you have it. Wow, way to fucking kill the fucking mood, Jesus. Just think, next time, this, this time next year, your life will be shit. Ha ha! Great, thank you. That's, that's so good, that. That is fucking peak. Okay, who have we got? We have you guys... Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Are they chilling in the same place over here? No, okay. Let's have a look around for the girls. Could they be upstairs? They ain't up here. Where are they at? Bum, bum, bum. Not here. 
guess we'll do this while we're here. The air around me has shifted. There's an unfamiliar scrap of paper in my pocket. It says 500 yen. Looks like my prayers were answered. Incredible. Sure. Wait, what did that say? Oh, never mind. I thought it said something different. Because I thought I knew what that did, and then I thought I read that it was saying something else. I was like, wait, did I, have I have, had this wrong the entire time? But no. New. I had not. Marvelous. I'm looking forward. Here are my requests. Attempt a hundred shrine visits. Wonderful. Or three. Oh, what's this? I sense a strange power emanating from that bill. I thought it would have taken months and years to complete the hundred shrine visits. <laughs> but perhaps it is not the number of visit that matters, but the strength of your wish. Please take this. Lime swimwear. Bro, why? <laughs> why lime swimwear? Very well. Is that for everyone or what? No, it's not for me. Uh. Oh my God, Koromaru wing. Oh, well, that's his everyday outfit. Oh right, right, right. Lime swimwear is for Fuka, but we never see Fuka. I guess it would. She look like that every time she pops up in a chat bubble thing or something. I mean, we'll have a look, but it's not going to be kept on. <laughs> it is not going to be kept on. That is for sure. I'm just curious how crazy they go with the outfits. So where are they? Are they around here at all? Here either. Here's a question. Why do you think I'm so reluctant to catch movies at the theatre during summer? Uh, the owner's going bald. Who cares? And who is this manager anyway? So I'm here all the time, but I've never seen him. Cool story, man. So cool. Where the fuck is Yukari? Here? Well, I'm, how can I have missed her? I've Isn't that everywhere I've checked now? Unless, maybe they're just in their room. They might just be in their room. They're probably just in their room. Let me to fucking back out of that. So, uh, it's got to be Bunkichi, I guess. Now, they're not going to rank up, but... Do I have a Hierophant? Let's get them heading towards the next rank up. God, it has been months since we came here. We came to them like four or five times or something early on. And then we have not seen them in forever. Yeah, that's right. I'm the best. Give me the notes. I feel like our relationship will grow stronger soon. Yay. Bum, 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 bum. Package. Lovely. Oh, it's you. Welcome. Summer break will be ending in just under two weeks. Of course, fighting shadows takes priority, but don't forget to dedicate time to studying as well. Christ, if summer break ends in just two weeks, that means that fucking the next full moon is only just over two weeks. Which means, we're almost back, and another Tartarus session! No! No! No, save me! Save me! I don't want to go back to Tartarus. Yeah, precisely. Uramaru isn't just any old dog. He's a key member of Seas. Please be mindful of what you're feeding him. Is there more to Koromaru than meets the eye? Why is this guy so... Like, every fucking dialogue he's had since Koromaru was introduced is about Koromaru. 
Koromaru fucking spying on us for you? Have you implanted fucking spy shit on him to keep tabs on us or something? I do not trust that guy at all. Um, I was trying to cook something and kind of messed it up. And Koro-chan happened to be nearby, so I asked him if he wanted a bite. I was just joking, but he ran away so fast. I mean, I know it didn't come out right, but I didn't think it was that bad. Banter. Uh -huh. I know Koro-chan didn't mean to hurt Yukari-chan's feelings, but I'm sure she's feeling a little down. I'm not sure what to do in this kind of situation. <laughs> oh man, I'm dying here. Yukatan said that the food she made didn't turn out the way she expected, but even Koromaru ran away from it. How bad does your cooking have to be for that to happen? God damn. God damn. That is an unfortunate ownage you've just received there. You've just been fucking done. You've been had. <laughs> he seems apologetic about something. Oh, poor little buddy. That's hilarious. That is what we call good, clean banter. Anything new? Ah, there is. What is it? It looks like Sonata's room. That is a lot of fucking trophies, my guy. Oh, damn it. I still can't stop thinking about what happened in Yakushima. You're telling me I can't carry a conversation any better than Junpei? Lamau. How can I be on the same level as that idiot and his lame pickup lines? Lol, good to know he hates Junpei. Calls him a fucking Are idiot you behind able his back. To make others laugh with a well-timed joke. Well, no specific examples come to mind, but I think I at least do that much. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. When people speak to you, do you tend to respond with pure logic and reason? This yes, is a common <laughs> mistake among inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling first. <laughs> oh, damn it. I guess they've got a point. Try practicing by imagining you're asking a female friend or colleague to your favorite store. Remember, it's important to smile and have a sense of humor. Huh. Um, hey there. Uh, what great timing to see you here. Nice one. Nice I'm one. I'm going to uh, Umiushi. <laughs> Wanna come with? Oh, humor. Uh, humor. You know the beef bowl place? Hey, maybe we could meet up there, huh? Get no, it? don't get your fucking humor <clears throat> from fucking dickhead downstairs. What am I, the chairman? Yeah, literally. Screw this. The recording ends here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Poor Akihiko. Congratulations, you won. Polonia Mall. Heights. Uh, we already spoke to everyone downstairs, and we, I believe. President Tanaka. Do I have a devil arcana? I don't think I do, do I? No, I do not have a devil, but I do have a space, so have I ever had a devil? Can I summon a devil? Love to summon the devil. Big fan. Bom, bom, bom. Uh, do I have anything I need to register? register Apparently I do. Acceptable. All registered. Summon, Please, have we got any devils? Uh, yes, we have Lilim. Please Lovely. take so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look for. Fuck out of here. Oh. Well, if it isn't Itadori, 
Are you busy at the moment? If not, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. Sure. <laughs> My, aren't you enthusiastic? Then let's not waste any more time. My schedule is so terribly packed. I don't usually have time for your average joke, you know. You should be glad you're such a handsome boy. Bro, this is weird as fuck. All right. Let's add a new word to our vocabulary today. Repeat after me. Placebo. Hmm. The stress is on the middle syllable. Very good. You're feigning interest well. A placebo is a pretend pill. Basically, it's a medicine to give you peace of mind. Imagine this. A supplement to eliminate those unsightly love handles without lifting a finger. Or a car navigation system that uses real-time image data to make your commute all the smoother. Or at least make it feel that way. These are just a fraction of our unique line of products. Wow. Huh? You're really wowed by those bogus products? I yeah, man. suppose one Truly. could see them as rather spectacular. Our business doesn't provide tangible benefits. It provides peace of mind. Take emergency supplies, for example. People feel safe just because they have them, don't they? As it turns out, <laughs> the more money people spend, the better they feel. Now then, that's it for today's lesson. You can pay me back when you make your first million. Wow, so generous. I'll be sure to pay you back after I get back that 40 grand. I received questionable advice. I understand him a little better now. Shing! Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, you might be surprised to find your profile suddenly on an internet dating site. It's getting late, so I'll go back. Wednesday the 19th. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans Already? have wandered into Tartarus. Huh, one, that's much earlier than last time. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. If it's only one, though, there's probably another one going to go later. So I wouldn't go in now anyway. And I wouldn't go in now anyway because I fucking hate Tartarus. <laughs> and I did want to put it off as long as possible. <laughs> Maiko available. We can get rank 9. Okay. Well, probably. I don't know. We haven't actually checked to see if she can rank up, but... Uh, what was I doing? Not that. Anything new? Yup. Damn, it's hot. Why is it so hot inside too? Help, I'm melting. Insightful discussion there with Junpei. I'm sorry. This dorm was built some time ago, so the air conditioning unit doesn't work very well. It's usually tolerable, but today, I can understand why Iori is griping so much. Well, at least you have a fucking thingy. Hayase <laughs> and Bukichi both level up. Maiko ranks up. Bozo ranks up. Let's do Maiko. We are almost there with Maiko. Two ranks to go. Two ranks to go. I've been waiting for you. Can we play now? Yeah, we can. Thank you. So today. Hey, I know. Let's get some takoyaki. Oh. 
Please be the dad, please be the dad, please be the dad. I'm gonna go with no! you. She can't cook or clean or do anything on her own. But she was the bitchy but one. I'm gonna be there to help her. I think dad's gonna be okay by himself. He can get along fine without me. Damn, that means we're so, you're gonna leave. Um, we're never gonna see each other again. Mom and I are gonna move away soon. <gasps> hey, even if I'm gone, we'll still be friends, right? Friends forever. I might forget. I can't believe that's an option. What does she respond if you say I might forget about you? That's tragic. Friends forever. That would be heartbreaking for a kid to hear. Friends forever. Ever and ever and ever, okay? You can't forget about me. Never, ever. Okay? Myko seems very fond of me. That would be actually fucking tragic if you said that. I gotta get ready to move. I have to go home. See you later. Okay? After saying goodbye to Maiko, I headed back to the dorm. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Damn, it's hot. I'm sweating like a pig over here, man. No. Stay strong, Iori. The heat will only affect you if you allow it to. Of course, there are limits to that theory. <laughs> Ugh. What's the fucking book on the side? This book wasn't here before, was it? The dorm register? A paw print has been added. I wonder if it's Koromaru's. No, it's the other dog that lives here. What the fuck do you think? Uh... Wow, that's the first time in a long time that there is absolutely nothing new from anyone. That's a sad sight. Absolutely nothing new from anyone at all. Oh my god, and there's nothing to do out here either? Jesus. I guess it's off to the arcade then. Unless, is there anything new in Club Escapade? New hints from the, the, the dude? Uh, oh, I thought there was for a second there, but no. I know there's such a thing as lucky colours, but we're talking about clothes, right? I think it's okay to just choose the clothes you like best. What a crazy concept. Choosing things you like. I saw this outfit at the clothing department that comes in two colours. They both look great. Colours affect your luck, so I couldn't decide. I'm here to ask Mama which colour I should buy. Oh yeah, there was that summer festival, huh? Damn it, I didn't have anyone to go with. Oh well, probably wasn't that great. Copium, my guy, copium. Yep, he's not here, I would have seen. Okay, I guess it is arcade time then. 3,000 academics, let's go. Bing. Thursday the 20th. Ah, it's new moon day. We are Yeesh, halfway. This is a scorcher. We are halfway to the next fucking full moon already. Jesus Christ, it's going so fast. No. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring? Hmm? Oh. What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. I guess the only reason that the scene with the other guys Out didn't didn't have her in it is so that this scene could happen. Because <laughs> he saw the other guys, so if she'd been there, then this wouldn't be able to happen because he'd know who she was, so that's why she wasn't there. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No, uh, nothing. My bad. 
Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Uh, oh well. I was expecting Junpei to be thirsting over her, not gonna lie. Like, oh, there's a girl on her own. Oh, gotta go riz her up. Oh, oh, I'm Junpei. Oh. You know. Summer vacation is starting to wind down. Emergency. We have an SOS here, suffering of starvation. Sure you do, buddy. Bom, bom, bom. I have a suggestion. Unlike the large shadows, it is difficult to predict where Striga will appear next. Korumaru-san said that we must be very cautious of them. Oh, right. Junpei's not around again, huh? I have never seen that guy do any homework. Is he gonna be alright? No. No, he will not. By the way, it's all over the news. Apathy syndrome cases are increasing. We must do something about this. Keeps you available. Bunkichi time! After so long. End of the bookstore. How's it going, folks? Uh. Oh, look, dear. He's here. Try and perk up for the boy, all right? I understand their reasoning. But if... if they really go through with this, if we lose that tree, it oh, would right. be like losing I forgot we were in the middle of this story. <laughs> Please don't fight. Oh, we're fine. We're not fighting. I was just fussing. Sorry for making you worry. Apparently, the rumor about cutting down the persimmon tree was true. So we went to the school together to say our goodbyes. Unfortunately, that just reminded my dear of the pain we felt the day our son died. Oh, just cheer up. You know, thinking about your dead son, just fucking cheer up, mate, you know? I'm sure it'll be okay. See, dear? That's exactly what I said. If you keep crying all the time, then what'll your admirers think? Right? Oh my, don't make fun of this wrinkled old lady. I can sense the elderly couple's appreciation. Clappers. Rank six, very nice. Stop by again anytime, all right? My wife would always be happy to see such a handsome young man. Here, take this for when you get hungry. Fried bread into my pocket, nice. The issue is that we're not going to get another four levels done in the remaining summer holidays, and then I'm going to be focusing on school people, so when am I going to actually get these guys done? I guess I'll see how far I can get them in the remainder of the summer holidays. No. What's what's happening? No what? It is time for Koromaru san's solo patrol duty, commonly known as a walk. There were arrangements for Sonata san to accompany Koromaru san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata san has yet to return. Koromaru san's patience has reached its limit. Koro 
Omaro-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Sure. Are you available to assist at the moment? What about you, I guess? My current mission is to remain on standby at the dormitory. I'm afraid I'm fully occupied at the moment. I must also request your assistance. Koromaru and I left the dorm to go for a walk. Okay, well this is a main story scripted walk, so what's going to happen on this walk that is important? Oh. Hail man? A non-human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. Indeed. However, Takaya. My I gotta remember his name. Lies more with you. It's very hard to remember his name for some reason. Good evening. Probably just because he was pale There's man no for so long. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Let's have a little chat. Come along. Alrighty. He doesn't seem to be hostile. What should I do? Go with him, obviously. What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? Mm. <laughs> What's your goal? What, well, we know why they're getting in our way. It's because they don't want the Dark Hour to end. Okay, so what's your goal would be interesting. Why aren't you wearing a top would also be quite funny. <laughs> if I ask what your goal is, he's probably just going to say to stop you from... Like, at the moment, it's to stop you from destroying the Dark Hour or something. He's probably not going to give us his actual goal. So let's just go with the funny option. My coat is invisible to fools. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, I'm joking. What a surprise that you would rather ask about me instead of our group. Perhaps this is a sign that we may reach a mutual understanding. Sure. In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet, you insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? That's right. And just where did you come up with that idea? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet, there is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? Because cars are useful and have lots of safeguards around them. It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? That logic makes no sense. Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. You're wrong. Do you continue to deny it because you can't accept the truth? There is no need to rush your decision. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours... Yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. Folded paper. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Oh yeah, what's on it? Well then, 
I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. A folded up piece of paper, there's something written on it. The new gear has eased summoning, but we need to make new safety cartridges before handing them off to MK. The evoker weight is also an urgent matter. Fortunately, ample test subjects remain to... Da, da, da. Hmm. hmm. I returned to the dorm and reported what happened. We're not going to get to see the scene of reporting what happened? I guess not. Let's have a chat. Hmm. I can't believe that Striga guy went to the shrine too. And why was he half naked? Is it because it's summer? No nah, man, he's always been half naked. Hello. One of the members of Striga seems to have taken an interest in you. Sometimes a malicious human being can be more dangerous than a shadow. If you should cross paths, I want you to be careful. What is that? Is that a little hairbrush? Do you want me to brush you? What else is available? Tower guy is available. Okay. Junpei up here. Oh no, Fuka up here. Have we done Fuka's? What are you doing? Hey. Actually, I brought more books from my home. Doesn't seem like Fuku will gain any more new skills, even if we read together. Okay. Um, we did finish. I couldn't remember if we finished or not. What was her? Sorry. What, what was her thing again? Weakness buffer. Reduces damage taken when an ally's weakness is struck. Right, yes, that was good. That was good, but we need to do something else with her. Was that... What was the other thing we were doing with her? Was it was it gardening? I think the other thing was gardening, right? Do I have a tower? Uh, yeah. Ba da ba 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 da ba ba. It hasn't thrown off my groove yet, but I'm getting kind of scared. You see that man there? He's so weird. I knew he was weird from the start, but wow, he's really out there. Watch, I bet he'll get kicked out pretty soon. The man at the table, do you mean? Huh? Oh, you. <laughs> what a strange kid. Just thinking you might show up, and here you are. Hey, don't get the wrong idea, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you. Of course not. Anyway, what's the deal with your hair, kid? What's the deal Isn't with it yours, mate? Where's it gone? Eyes? Is that the style nowadays? My son kept his hair long too. You should cut it. No, better yet, shave it all off. Give the bald look a try. Uh, yeah, that might look cool. Copium. You got a good attitude, kid. You do get what I'm saying, don't you? I'm not talking about fashion here, you know. I'm saying you'd be better off without your hair. Oh, sure, you're young and good-looking now, but just you wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like a damn bulldog's. That's life, kid. You will get old. Someday you'll be just like me. One day in the future, you'll see your mug in the mirror and think, Damn, I was handsome back in the day. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, huh? That way you won't ever be disappointed. You're gonna lose your hair eventually, kid, so why bother with it now? Bald is beautiful. You just... Wake up in the morning and go. No fuss. You'll need a hat for the winter, but I say go for it. I'll spot you money for a shave and some clippers if you're short. I saw through Mutatsu's harsh words and felt his kindness. I feel like I understand him a little better now. 
I don't. What the fuck are you talking about, motherfucker? Shut up. <laughs> Fucking go bald, by the way. No thanks. What is all my talking putting you to sleep? A little well, bit. Well, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home and rest in your own bed. A little bit sleep inducing, my guy. Went back to the dorm. Friday the 21st.